Experience Sessions Experience Sessions Welcome to Experience Sessions here on indigomusic.com. My guest today is Harry Michael, um, but you know him as the sensational rapper Masterful, whose song Astronaut in the Ocean is a global hit. It's as catchy as it is deep. Harry, hello. Hey, how are you? I'm doing great. How about you? Very well, very well. Um, tell us what you know about rolling down in the deep. I mean, what is Astronaut in the Ocean a metaphor for? Um, I mean, first of all, it was like sort of like a, it was kind of a rhetorical question, but then a question to like others about what do you know about being down in the deep and being down in, in life? Yeah. It was kind of like a question I was throwing out to everyone that was listening to tell me your story at the same time of like me telling mine. Yeah. The, the whole, I guess, uh, structure of Astro is like, um, really coming out from like a journey of where you feel like you don't belong and you want to get to space you want to be where the astronauts are supposed to be but also uh the struggles of not being where you want to be as well that's amazing i think it's very profound astronaut in the ocean this song came out in 2019 um yeah. and it was just as good then but then now it's blown up in 2021 thanks to a little something called TikTok. um are you a, generally a TikToker, and how did you react to seeing your song being pushed in this way? Yeah, I mean, like uh, me, no, I was never generally a TikToker at all. Um, I thought it was like a bit of a, it was definitely a catalyst uh, for the song. Um, but because like I was starting my brand in 2019 of Masked Wolf and, you know, we just released Astronaut in the Ocean, it all had like a gradual build up, And I think um, like COVID was very bad for the world, but COVID for like music in general was very, very big because everyone was at home in lockdown and more time. Yeah, more time. The only thing you can do is, yeah, cook, cook, clean, sleep, music, uh, TV, you know, that's all you, you can do. You do a lot of that as well? Yeah, well, like luckily in Australia, like for us, we weren't in like a heavy lockdown for too long, but I know like globally it was like very hard on people. Yeah. So, I mean, I think that's what started the, the sort of the spike. And then things like TikTok came along and then it just, that became a catalyst and then Instagram reels, etc. But yeah, it, it's it, it's crazy how everything just like sort of tagged along and then TikTok sort of took it and you see like welding videos and four wheel drive videos and stuff like that. Um, it's pretty insane and we're playing it as well. We love it. I think it's so, so catchy. It's just a really good jam. Uh, you just posted on Instagram that you officially quit your full-time job. What yeah. was your full-time job and how happy are you to have let that go? Or are you at all? Um, like what I helped businesses go digital. Um, so again, in COVID, you know, touching paper and everything like that. It was, it was a very busy time um am i happy yeah of course i am like my my dream was to always do music full time and uh that dream is like come come into reality now you know what i mean um but i did i did love my like my boss and he he was with me since a hundred thousand streams on astro so i did i didn't hate my job it was just the dream came to reality i turned my dreams into action and um now I'm like super glad I can do it full time. So watch out the world because there's yeah. What do you think pushed you over the edge uh, from you know just taking that leap to taking that leap of faith for uh, leaving uh, work? Yeah. That that's what you're gonna do. Um, it's just it just comes to a point where you like you get your window of opportunity. You know what I mean in life, and yeah, you either make this. Yeah, and you've got like you can't you can't do it 50 50. There's no such thing as 50% in this industry. So uh, I went straight in and just said, now's the time. Uh, I'm thankful, like, I've got a lot of growth and like recognition now. And like the Wolf Pack, which is what I call my fans, um, they deserve like more, more music, more material. So that's what they're going to get. Well, count me in. I'm definitely proud of that Wolf Pack. Uh, huge okay. fan, man. You're amazing. You're so talented. And you began writing songs at the age of 13. Do you remember one of the first things you wrote about? Well, I was actually like, uh, started off Christian rapping, religious rapping. 
Oh. Um, so yeah, like a lot of like when I first started was like about God. And that's why I sort of have that reference about God in- um, Yeah, G-O-D. Yeah, yeah, exactly right. So I kind of like maybe at like the age of 16, 17, I veered away from being religious rapping because a lot of people were telling me I was, I was really good and I wanted to take it serious in a sense of, okay, maybe I could be that American hip hop artist style. So you can see like from start to finish, I sort of eventuate from, from that to like, okay, maybe I can do this. That's a that's quite the journey. Um, yeah. And I've been doing some um, research, well, with my ears. And yeah. uh, songs like Water Walking, Switch, Speed Racer. I mean, you really are a class apart in that you, you have a very uh, unique way of making songs catchy, which is, mm-hmm. which is not something you typically hear uh, I mean, every rap is different, but you really have a way with the songs. What What is the one thing you want to be known for or you want your music to be known for? Um, I would definitely say like, I want to be known for being authentic. Like everything that my music resembles is me. There's no like lies in there, no being fake. Like everything I, I'm saying to you is the truth. That's the whole that's the whole point of based of Astro, you know what I mean? Like what I'm saying to you is my truth and my story. Um, and I want to encourage people from that to tell their truth and, and their story. Uh, I that definitely the authenticity at least and the truthfulness comes through and yeah. uh, I hope people see it the same way. Um, why did you decide to go with the name Masked Wolf? What, what do you think it what do you think it means? Um, let's see. Oh no, I didn't expect it. <laughs> I've ne- I've never asked someone else what they think wait, it wait. means. I'm gonna think of a good answer here. Is it because um, is it because you feel like you're in the jungle because it is a jungle uh-huh. out there, and uh-huh. but also it's hard to to show yourself because there's just I the second know. the second part uh, kind of right yes. Okay. So I came I came up with Mars Wolf because like you see me now I may I may not look like a the general rapper on the street you wouldn't think I'm a rapper, um, but when I go into the studio that part of me comes out like the wolf comes yeah. out the beast comes out I'm in the jungle you know what I mean. Uh-huh. Um, Much better explanation. You, you, you see you see the other side you know, so there's a I feel like I felt like there was always a mask on me there was kind of two sides one was like the normal guy that's chill writing songs just enjoying life and then but when there was time to work the wolf came out like the beast came out of me and um that's when you see you mean business yeah correct. yeah that's awesome um what is next for you well what's coming up tell us what we yeah. to. um basically like at the moment we're doing a lot of uh songs uh so basically like from that i mean obviously we're going to be looking at a remix to astronaut in the ocean um as you can imagine and uh i'm just really really focusing on my album too which uh i'm planning for end of year or start of next year yeah um do we have a name do we have a theme is there something you can give us uh we have a we have a name we have a name okay the 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 all i will tell people is the theme is going to be based around space that's all I'm going to tell people. Yes. Oh my God. I am personally obsessed with space, so I can't wait for this one. Yeah. So um, I'm aiming, I'm aiming for the album release, but in between then I'm just working on new content. I don't want to be one of those like artists that just, uh, most of the album is songs you've already heard. I'm not going to be like that. I want to have new content in there that surprise people. So that will be the goal. Um, and obviously, and obviously touring as well. Uh, we've lined up some things internationally and, uh, obviously in Australia now because we're a bit more lenient, but as soon as COVID sort of gets better and we free up a bit, I'll be out and doing tours and stuff internationally. Oh, I, I sure hope you can make it down to India as I well. I know, I've been getting a lot of requests actually from uh, people in India saying yeah. you have to come. So oh, absolutely, yeah, you should. I think be it's a must. Here. Um, fun fact, I was actually talking about space earlier on on my show today and they're opening a space hotel by 2027 for tourism so really in india no in space 
Oh, a space hotel. Okay, well, yeah. there you go. Who, who's running that? Elon Musk or something? <laughs> Probably. I'm not sure, but uh, that's fine. Well, you know, I want to do a little something with you right now. Uh, we need yeah. you as the musician, but I am going to do a little something called Unmasked Wolf in, uh, let's say, a minute or in a certain amount of time. Let's not put a time limit. But quick answers. It's kind of like a rapid fire. Are you ready to reveal yourself? Yes. All right. How would your friends describe you? Upfront. How would you? Uh, how would a significant other describe you? Loyal. What's the one thing you must always have in your fridge? Cheese. Oh yeah. Uh, on date night, would you rather order in or cook? Order in. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess the pandemic didn't teach you anything. <laughs> yeah, <Okay. no. laughs> Definitely. Um, What's the third thing you do when you wake up? I mean, from experience, I've learned that the first two things people always say are checking their phones and using the loo. So that's why I say third thing you do when you wake up. Um, well, now it's Zoom meetings. <laughs> it's it Zoom nice? meetings for interviews. <laughs> so. Fair enough. All right. Um, your go-to comfort food? Chicken schnitzel. Oh, yum. Okay. Aliens exist, yes or no? Yes. Would you rather be next in line to get the vaccine or next in line to play a concert? Concert. Okay. For sure. Uh, <laughs> and finally, um, brace yourself because can you sing the first four lines of Astronaut in the Ocean in 10 seconds? What you know about rolling down in the D when your brain goes numb, you can call that mental freeze. When these people talk too much, put that shit in slow motion. Yeah, how you feel like an astronaut in the ocean? Oh yeah, that's how you do it. Uh, thank you so much, Harry. Do people call you Harry? I'm sure masked would not be an appropriate first name to Some, call you. Uh, either or like Harry or Wolf. I'm getting a lot oh. of wolf, wolf lately, so uh, I'm running with it. We'll yeah. go with Wolf. Uh, thanks for uh, doing this with me. It was amazing. No, no. All good. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate your time and your support.